hundred pound box. Why wouldn't you? Love the looks of this thing. This thing looks cool as heck. For sure. Mini Moto style e bike. Check it out. Ooh, that sun is great. Looks good, eh? 100 pounds. 100 pound box. The Win 1 E2. This one I actually am pretty stoked about because it is more of a Mini Moto style e bike. 500 watt 48 volt 13 amp hours there you go max load 330 pounds pretty cool finally had a chance we're going out we did the unboxing we got her fully assembled i've actually taken this on one or two test drives um real briefly with the wife we went out the other day pretty impressed with it but yeah let's take it for a good long full charge see how many kilometers she'll get full range i have a bit of a route planned for us it's kind of a long one so um we may not go wide open all the way, but this is gonna be full throttle. Um, that's it, there's no pedaling. Uh, these bikes aren't really designed for pedaling. As uh, you'll see when you get on it, this, the uh, positioning is just not ideal, right? These are more of a mini moto style. So I'm gonna do a full range test. We'll do the top speed test, um, braking, all that stuff. We'll check it all out and uh, let you guys know what we think of it. But uh, that being said, let's go do a waterfront tour and see if we can't cover the whole waterfront uh, boardwalk and stuff like that through Kingston and we're gonna loop around and catch the KP trail back to the house So we'll take a look. I actually forgot and don't really know yet. So I haven't really looked I guess we'll fire up this camera, too But um, this bike here you actually have to turn your battery on and then your power button is right here We'll kick that on the screen will come on and what kilometers we've got 39 on it So we'll go at the 40 We'll see what we get on top of that. We'll do the uh, addition and subtraction. And yeah, let's see what we can get full range, right? So here we go. Now, we did notice already, this bike always starts in neutral, basically. 
So you have to come up to one. And as soon as you use your throttle assist, there's no limitations on it. So it'll go the full 28 miles an hour, um, even in, the, in, in pedal assist um, level one, right? So levels really don't mean anything unless you're gonna pedal. And again, on this bike, don't really care to pedal. Just crank it up to five, just in case you ever did. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there, right? So let's hit it. We're gonna get to the water. Do a full range. Let's see what this thing will do. The smallest e-bike motor so far that we've tried. Let's get you guys up a little bit. But it's not really about the motor size as much as it seems to be about the controller and how much output it puts to the motor, right? So I'm guessing that the motor, they say it's got a peak of 750. We'll definitely use an all of that, maybe then some, I think. Bike seems almost a little torquier than, than my e-bike, but um, it's getting a lot out of a 500 watt, let's put it that way. Pick up slow, as they always are. Seem to be well limited on every e-bike we've tried. Suspension is super soft on this particular one, out of the box anyways. Yeah, super soft, super plush. This bike could do well off-road, put some knobbies on it. Although I don't think it's quite the setup you're gonna be jumping or anything of that nature. But certainly gonna deal with the bumps. Look at that, it's like being on a pogo stick. You're getting hydraulic disc brakes. That's awesome. It comes to an 80 pound plus bike. You definitely want hydraulic brakes. Now I have noticed over the couple rides that I've had, I think the bars are too low. It's got a really lean hunched over position. And uh, yeah, I think I could definitely benefit at least myself from a bit of a rise in the bars. can see this color display but it's nice works good yeah all in all big fan of the seat big fan of the suspension ergonomics can use a little bit of work but i think that can be fixed with uh, a little bit of rise on the handlebars maybe change out your gooseneck we talked about the ability to modify this bike because of its layout and uh the ample room allowing in the frame for a larger battery and controller So I think we might take that route. I think we might modify this thing. I'd love to see it hit 50 mile an hour. I think it'd be a great little ripper. Oh wow, we really sucked up those train tracks. I didn't even feel that. I guess we could have stayed seated. Yeah, the brakes are phenomenal. They work awesome. And away we go. Beautiful day for it. Yeah, very happy with it. Very happy with the brakes. More than adequate. The power out of the 500 watts, actually better than I anticipated, along with torque. It's got a decent controller on it, that's for sure. It's a nice trail. Into Lake Ontario Park. I can't remember if you can get back up and down here or not. Yeah, right there. How's that for a hill test? Pretty well zero run. Let's see if it can do it. Can it do it without us pedaling? 500 watts. I doubt it. This is a pretty good one. Oh, she's pulling it. You can't really pedal on this thing anyways. Look at it. I'm not doing anything. It's making it, but it did too. That's pretty impressive. That's a steep hill. Steep. Steep incline. Did it on a crawl, but again, you're down to a 500 watt motor and that's actually performing better than I anticipated.
Yeah, I think we'll make some modifications to this thing. I think we maybe try to get a hold of one of those 72 volt batteries and maybe a, a different controller. I've seen a Franken runner that looks pretty cool. This would be a really good spot to take a little bit of a breather, I think. So the Win One E2 e bike, what can we say about it? 48 volt, 13 amp hour battery. So far, the range we're getting is satisfactory. I'm definitely going to be able to take this to any corner of the city and home within that 30 kilometer hour or uh, 30 kilometer range, which to me for this package and this price point is actually pretty good. The suspension is satisfactory. Definitely a little soft setup right now. We'll stiffen that up. Um, but with the 500 watt motor and the 13 amp hour battery, 48 volt, we're pretty impressed with the package for the price point. You get yourself a working brake light, which is awesome. Definitely a nice bonus. You even get an added little spot there to throw a license plate on it, which is cool. It's got seven speed uh, Shimano. I don't know why. You might as well just put a single single on there and and gone without i think most of these e-moto style e-bikes actually do that don't really uh bother with the the gear setup um it's kind of a waste if anything it's kind of loud and clunky um that might be again a modification we'll look at doing is deleting that because you're not going to pedal on these bikes you're really not it's not a great ergonomic setup for pedaling um for riding it's not bad for me it's a little too sport a little too leaned forward so We'll put some new bars on it, but there's so much good on this package for $1,300. Um, it's a great value. The hydraulic brakes work awesome. The suspension works great. Seat's comfortable. Headlight works awesome. The uh, the monitor I find is is pretty pretty good actually. Works great. Color um, pretty basic on your uh, selection for your, but again you're not going to use that. She's pretty much just throttle and go, right? So, not bad. All in all, very impressed. Pretty kick ass. I look forward to uh, modifying it. Like I said, we got some tan wall tires coming. Gonna look pretty cool on there. We may get some brown grips. We may do that seat and leather. I don't know. We'll see. I think it's gonna be uh, a worthwhile project to uh, do some up upgrades to it. And it's a fun little package, right? So, yeah, that's my first impressions. Let's go exhaust the rest of the battery and see what kind of range we do actually get out of it. For a 500 watt motor, the pickup on this bike is actually pretty darn good. See how she's gonna do. We'll give her full throttle all the way. Let's put the suspension to work, eh? Yeah, that derailleur is loud. That was some of the kickstand as well. Brake check. Woo! Wow. She gets sideways. She gets right sideways. Away we go. On the KP trail. tires slip out. It felt like it anyways. Well, it's got pretty good traction actually. I think it's because I was on the brake. So it's quiet down here today. Certainly a soft suspension, man. Real cushy. Which I like. That's a bonus. The older you get. But yeah, I do feel stretched out. The arms and the shoulders. My body struggles to sit upright. I'm really reaching, right? You have to wonder if it's continuously putting out the 750 watts now or if we're starting to get limited as we're approaching the bottom quarter or third of the battery, right? Of the battery life. Yeah, you got lots of brakes, man. You work awesome when it comes to braking. The 
gears work fine, but again, I don't think you're gonna use them. You just feel way too tight. Like my legs, I'm five foot 11. And to pedal on this thing, you feel way too, like your knees are in your chest, you know? Way too cramped. very nimble you can really whip this thing around which I like it's a lot smaller than my uh, Fiddling T7 it feels like a tight package I like it okay I can just feel quite a considerable drop in the, uh, the power so I'd say we're now putting out probably 500 volt watts now. Boy, that got windy. You guys are still with us, so you can see it. 77.4. There it is. We are dead. It is still pulling. Let's see if it can get home now. This is about a kilometer or less. It's still pulling. And I suspect she's gonna drop that last bar any moment here. But like I said, it did make it home. We had the uh, perfect route, obviously. For distance, it worked out perfect. Um, and I'd have to say, yeah, you could probably get, uh, we're at 78 right now, basically. So I think you're pushing very, very close to 40 kilometers. We did quite a bit of uphill battling and we had a lot of headwind today. So I think uh, easily you could expect to get 40 kilometers per distance out of these things. Or out of this uh, 48 volt, 13 amp hour battery. Cut in here, the bike trail. We're back blinking at zero again. We're gonna drain her. We're gonna drain her right dead. Let her go. He's full on, 17 kilometers. It's gonna creep us back to the house. Should we give it some help? I don't think we have to. Maybe we do. Oh, well, I felt it just kicked in there with the pedal assist. It can be a little deceiving because as you turn the bike off, you tend to get a lot of range back, or at least it tells you you've got range back, literally. We're literally at my house. Oh, there it goes again, old. But we've exhausted it. It is completely dead. Basically got 40 kilometers out of it, a little bit shy, which gave us 24 miles. That's actually more than I thought we were going to get. I thought 20 mile range. So this accomplished the 20 mile range on a 48 volt, 13 amp hour. Now that little 500 watt motor is probably some of the reason they've gone to a lower motor and they've got a better output to it, but maybe it's working a little more efficient, not pulling quite as much out of that battery, allowing you to get over the 20 mile range, which is pretty standard for all these bikes. Anywhere from 20 to 25 miles is what I find out of all of them. Um, even my Vitalin's got a uh, 48 volt, 20 amp hour. It'll do 25 miles, throttle only, um, full pin the whole way, right? So. Maybe a little more if you're nice to it, but I find that on average. Um, and then, like I said, uh, the Weiss bike has a 13 amp hour, also 48 volt battery. Uh, same setup as this with the 500 hub watt motor. Hers actually goes even further. I'd say she gets a, a extremely good range out of it, but the bike is extremely light. I think it's more of the 45 to 50 pound range compared to an 80 pound bike. So, but all in all, this mini moto style, a little heavier, a little more robust very very stoked very impressed with how it worked um top speed we did hit 30. we hit 30 miles per hour on it which is great that's actually two miles per hour faster than my vitalin as well and it has a 750 watt hub motor buffang hub motor um putting out 1240 1260 in that range uh 1200 watts a little over and look at that we're still getting almost the same distance 
and uh, we got a better top speed on it, which kind of surprised me. The other one really shuts down hard when it hits its maximum uh, speed. So, but this one did seem to keep climbing. I'd say on a slight incline, we had it up almost 50. So that's very impressive. New tires are on the way. We're going to do some modifications to this one. Should be pretty cool. We'll shut this down. And uh, yeah, we'll bring you guys back around when we start uh, messing with it a little more. All right. Anything else I can think about? Not really. All in all, for $1,300, this is a huge value. And if you're looking to pick up an e-bike to modify, um, and a great starting point, I think, uh, for a modified bike, right? So let's see if we can't juice this thing up next spring and uh, turn it into an absolute monster, right? It'd be awesome if we could hit 50 miles an hour on this thing. That would be, whew, I'd be, uh, even 45 would be just pretty, pretty killer, right? So very happy with it delighted definitely going to be keeping it and modifying it and stay tuned should be a lot of fun right now huge shout out to Wyndon for sending us the bike for a review and uh until next time boys